Everybody, welcome to class today. Today is going to be a strong flow class, kind of based around the core and strengthening of the upper back. We're going to dive straight into movement today. So if you need some time to connect with your breath, maybe taking a short meditation or a short period of stillness before a class, then I strongly encourage you to do that if you need to. If you like these classes, please remember to like and subscribe. It really does mean a lot to me. Um, and if you have any class requests or anything that you want to see more or less of, or if you're interested in personalized programs, head over to my Instagram page. We're going to get started on all fours in a tabletop position today. Starting in your tabletop position, take an inhale through the nose, drop the belly for cow. And then as you exhale, start to curl the tailbone under, roll through the spine and then press the shoulder blades away from the floor. Inhale, leaving with the sternum, start to drop the chest and then roll through the spine, tailbone comes last into your cow belly. And then exhale, starting from the tailbone, roll the length of the spine. Keep going like this, connecting to your breath, undulating movement through any stiff parts in your spine. And take one more cycle of each. Come into your cow belly breath, inhale. And then this time as you exhale, you're going to press through the tops of the feet and round the spine, lift the knees to hover for a hovering cat. Inhale, drop the knees, drop the belly, cow. Exhale, round the spine, lift the knees, hovering cat. Inhale, through your cow belly, drop the knees. One more like that and we'll hold. Exhale, round the spine, lift the knees. And you can stay here or maybe start to float the left leg. Maybe you can send the left leg straight behind you. Take one more breath. And then draw it back in underneath you. Maybe send the right leg to hover or extend it out behind you. Keep pushing the floor away, rounding the upper back. And draw the right leg in, take one more inhale, exhale, drop the knees, inhale, cow belly breath, exhale, send the hips back, child's pose. Take an inhale here, and as you exhale, ground down through the hands, around the spine, rolling forward into your cat. Inhale, cow belly, start to send the hips to the heels, back to child's pose. Exhale, scoop the belly round the spine, draw yourself forward to cat. Inhale, let the tailbone tilt to the sky, send the hips back, child's pose. One more like that. Exhale through your cat. And then inhale into a neutral spine. Drop the forearms to the floor and we're going to take cat-cow on the forearms. So it's going to isolate into the lower back pelvis a little bit more. As you inhale, think of curling the tailbone up to the sky, lower back moves towards the shoulders. And as you exhale, think of scooping the lower belly as if you're pulling on a tight pair of jeans, roll the tailbone underneath you. Inhale, tilt it to the sky. Exhale, tuck it underneath you. Keep going like this. You should feel the lower belly starting to engage. And you should feel this isolated into your lower back. I want you to try and keep your upper back thoracic still. This is really nice for releasing the lower back. One more each direction. And then make your way to a neutral spine. Step the left leg back and then the right leg forearm plank. And then similar to what we just did, on your inhale, you're going to think of drawing the tailbone towards the nose, a gentle tucking of the lower belly. 
And as you exhale, release. Think of energy pushing out through the heels. Inhale, draw the elbows to the heels. Gentle tuck. Exhale, release energy. Take three more like that. Forearm pulsation. Forearm plank pulsation. It's a very subtle movement. And then slowly release the hips to the floor. Untuck the toes for Sphinx pose. Engage the legs so the knees lift. Think of drawing the elbows back as you draw the sternum through the gateway of the arms. Take an inhale, extend the spine long. Keep the length of the spine as you exhale. Just gently tuck the chin to the chest, stretching the back of the neck. Inhale, length, lengthen the spine. And raise the head. Exhale, gently release the neck. Two more at your own pace. Keep the legs engaged. And this time release all the way to the floor. Bring the hands underneath the elbows down by the ribs. Keep the engagement of the legs as you inhale. Think of scooping the chest up as if you're pushing a marble away with your nose. Cobra. Exhale, roll it down. Inhale, lead with the sternum, draw the elbows back. Exhale, roll it down. One more and we hold. Inhale, roll up for Cobra. Stay here or keep the hands drawing back towards the feet, maybe lift the legs off. Big toes rotate up towards the sky to release the lower back. Three more breaths here, or maybe bring the hands to hover, see if you can keep the height. Shoulders out of the ears. And then lower the hands, knees, or, knees up or down, hug the elbows in as you exhale, press up to plank. Inhale here. Exhale, take the hips up and back to your first down facing dog. Inhale, ripple through the spine just like you do in cat cow. Start to roll from the tailbone all the way to the thoracic. Bring yourself into plank. And then as you exhale, think of curling the chest in and then bringing the hips up and back into your down dog. Take a few more waves like this, however it feels the best in your body. Warming up the shoulders, warming up the spine. And take one more meeting in downward dog. And then you're going to prop up onto your right fingertips and then your left fingertips. So if this doesn't work in your body, you just stay with flat hands, or you can grab two blocks to increase the shoulder stretch. And then we're going to do exactly the same thing. So on your inhale, start to ripple the spine forward. So now coming into a plank on your fingertips, you can always drop the knees. And then as you exhale, roll back through the spine as if you're lifting up and over a hurdle in the middle of your mat. And keep going like this, rolling through the spine back and forward making sure the shoulders land directly over the wrists. And then meet back and down the dog, lower the left palm, lower the right palm, take an inhale. Exhale, roll it through the plank. Bring the feet together, shift to the right, Side, so shift to the outer edge of the right foot, sorry. Keep both hands grounded evenly on the floor and see if you can lengthen from the sternum to the tailbone. This is quite a deep twist. If this is going well, you can start to lift the left foot off the right and maybe start to reach that left foot behind you, keeping both hips facing forward. Take one more breath. Exhale, roll it into a single leg plank. The left leg is lifted. And then take it up and back into a single leg downward facing dog. 
Inhale, roll it forward, single leg plank. Exhale, three-legged dog. Take two more. And then shift it back forward to plank. Left foot meets right. Bring the feet together and then swivel the feet over, swivel the heels over to the left so that the feet stack. Both hands remain grounded on the floor, lengthen through the spine. You can stay here in this twisting plank or start to lift the right leg, maybe sending the right leg straight back behind you. You should feel this working the side body. Take one more inhale, and then on your exhale, shift it back to a single leg plank. Inhale here, exhale, three-legged dog. Inhale, single leg plank. Exhale, three-legged dog. Take two more. Inhale, bring it back to plank. Exhale, set the right foot down. Inhale, shift forward. And then as you exhale, elbows graze the ribs lower all the way to the belly. Run the hands down beside you, untuck the toes. Tops of the hands press into the mat. As you inhale, peel the shoulder heads away from the mat. And then as you exhale, peel the chest off, pressing down through the feet, the knees lift. Pressing down through the pubic bone, the lower back lengthens. Stay here or on your exhale, keep pressing through the hands, lift the feet up, keeping that internal rotation of the legs. And stay here or as you exhale, float the hands up, palms face towards the sky, collarbones are wide. And take one more inhale and then as you exhale, plant the hands, knees up or down, press back to plank pose. Take an inhale here, exhale, downward facing dog. Swivel the heels to the right in your downward facing dog and bend the right knee. Send the hips back, you should feel a nice big stretch through the left side body. And then as you inhale, you can start to straighten both legs. Shift it forward to a twisting plank. Exhale, pike the hips, twisting downward dog. Keep both legs straight this time. Inhale to a twisting plank. Exhale, twisting downward dog. Inhale, twisting plank. Exhale, twisting downward dog. Inhale, twisting plank. This time as you exhale, step the left foot on top of the right. Inhale, sweep the left arm up for full Vashi Sarsana side plank. Left hip stacks on top of the right. You can stay here or you can play around with floating that left leg up. Maybe you can float it behind you. If you're floating the leg behind you, try not to let the left hip come with you. Take one more breath. And then as you exhale, rotate it back to a single leg plank. Shift the weight forward, inhale, exhale, single leg chaturanga. You can always do a normal chaturanga. Inhale, single leg plank. Two more. Exhale, inhale, plank. Exhale, inhale, plank. Left foot meets right. Exhale, down facing dog. Swivel the heels to the left, bend the left knee, take the side body stretch. And then look forward, start to shift forward on your inhale to a twisting plank. Exhale, pipe the hips up and back, down the dog, legs are straight. Inhale, twisting plank. Exhale, twisting down the dog. Inhale, twisting plank. Exhale, twisting down dog, waking up the obliques for sure. 
Inhale, twisting plank. This time as you exhale, step right foot on top of left. Inhale, sweep the right arm up. Stacking the feet, staggering the feet or dropping the bottom knee if you need to. You can stay here or maybe you can float that right leg up. And if you can keep the hips facing forward, maybe you can start to send that right leg straight back behind you, working the glute. Take one more inhale. Exhale, take it to a single leg plank. Modify as you need to, shift forward, inhale. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, single leg plank. Two more, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, right foot meets left. Take it back, down with facing dog. Look towards the hands, step, walk, or if you feel ready, float to the top. Inhale, come into a halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Two more like that. Inhale, really lengthen through the spine. Maybe run the hands up the shins. Exhale to fold. Inhale, lift, lengthen. This time we hold in your halfway lift. Gentle bend in the knees. Inhale, take the arms off to capital T. Exhale, float it down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Raise the arms to capital T. Exhale, sweep down. One more. Inhale, take it up to capital T. This time as you exhale, slight bend in the knees. Reach the arms forward of you. Inhale to capital T. Exhale, reach forward. Neck is long. Inhale, capital T. One more. Exhale, reach long. Inhale, capital T. Exhale, fold forward. Generous bend in the knees, think of dropping the tailbone towards the floor as you roll the length of the spine. Head and shoulders come last. And make your way to the top of the mat, bring the hands together in Anjali Mudra, take a nice deep breath in through the nose. Hold it at the top and then let it go through the mouth. Surya Namaskar, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, step the right leg back. Exhale, plank pose. Drop, hold the breath, drop the knees. Lower the chest and the forehead to the mat. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg steps. Exhale, fold at the top of the mat. Inhale, sweep the arms up, come to stand. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left leg steps for lunge. Exhale, plank. Hold the breath, lower the knees, the chest and the chin to the floor. Inhale, up, uh, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left leg steps. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, right leg steps. Exhale, plank. Option to stay as you were, or this time the whole body lowers as one to the floor. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, right leg steps. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left leg steps. Exhale to plank. Either option, hold the breath lower to the floor. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise up. Two more rounds like that. Exhale. Inhale, right. Exhale. Hold and lower. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, right. Exhale. 
Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, left. Exhale. Hold and lower. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, left. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, right. Exhale. Hold and lower. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, right. Exhale. Inhale. Last one. Exhale. Inhale, left. Exhale, hold and lower, inhale, exhale, inhale, left, exhale, inhale, raise, exhale, hands to heart center, sink the hips, bend the knees, inhale, chair pose, make sure you can see your toes, sink the hips low as you lift the chest high, upper back is engaged, and feel the lower back lengthening to avoid dumping into the lower spine. Take three more breaths. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. And then from here, you're just going to keep the arms as they are, start to hinge the torso forward, bend deeper into the knees, so you're almost in like a 90-90 squat. The arms are reaching forward, the hips are reaching back. Gaze is directly down at the floor. If this is too much for your back, you can always bring the arms off to capital T. You'll still feel the upper back muscles engaging, it just won't be quite as hectic. Take three more breaths. Sink the weight back into the heels. And then as you exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands, step, walk, float. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep the right leg up. Exhale, shift forward, tap right knee, right elbow. Inhale, through the leg dog. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, three legged dog. One more each side. Three legged dog, inhale, and then exhale, shift it forward, draw the nose towards the knee and hold. So think of rounding the upper back as if you could suck the knee up into the chest but drop the hips so that you're not piking the hips towards the sky. One more breath. And then step the right foot between the hands. Line up heel to heel. We're coming up for warrior one on your inhale. So work the ribs and the collarbones towards the front of the room. Draw the right hip back and ground down through the left leg. See if you can sink a little bit deeper into the legs and not into the spine. Take two more breaths. And then keep the legs, bring the hands behind you, either fist to fist, holding opposite elbow or reverse namaste behind the back if you can. Start to straight the right leg, hop the left leg in a little bit. Take an inhale, lengthen the spine. And then over a straight front leg, exhale, start to fold at the hips. Try and keep as much length in through the spine as you can. And then start to dip lower as if your sternum could reach your front big toe. Strongly ground down through the right leg. Micro bend in through the right knee as you draw the right hip back and underneath you. And then take a micro bend in through the front knee, bring the torso up to a halfway lift. 
start to shift the weight into the right leg and then come up into warrior three with a clasp behind your back. If you need to change your bind or your mudra, please feel free. Left toes point towards the floor. Think of yourself as an arrow shooting across the room, lengthening from the toes to the head. And then start to bend the left knee in towards the chest. We're coming all the way up to standing on the right leg. Keep the hands in their bind. Draw the left knee as close into the chest as you can. Take an inhale. And then exhale, keeping nice and upright. Extend the left leg out in front of you. Standing staff with the hands behind the back. Keep the shoulders opening. Good postural work here. And then start to bend the left knee back and towards you. Come back through warrior three. And then on your exhale, bend the right knee. Step the left leg back for warrior one. Release your bind. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, take the hands down. Step it back, single leg plank. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. This time, untuck the toes. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep the left leg up. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, cross left knee, right elbow. Inhale, take it up. One more on each side. Inhale, three-legged dog. And then exhale, draw the nose towards the knee, the knee towards the nose. Drop the hips down, but keep pressing the floor away. Three more breaths. Relax the jaw. And then step the left foot forward. Line yourself up for your warrior one. And then inhale, raise all the way up. Set up your alignment points on this side and then sink in nice and deep. Take one more inhale. And then as you exhale, take your clasp behind your back, whatever you did on the first side. Start to straighten through the front leg, hop the back foot in a little bit. Inhale, lengthen through the upper middle back. And then as you exhale, both hips are facing forward as you start to fold over that front leg any amount. Keep contact with the back foot, relax the neck and the jaw. And start to slightly bend in through the front knee. Come back into a halfway lift if you're not already. Shift the weight into the left leg and then slowly with control bring yourself up to warrior three. Left hip draws back. Right hip is even with the left. All five toes of the right foot point down towards the floor. And then slowly start to bend the right knee in towards the chest. Come all the way up to standing on the left leg. Drawing the right knee as high up towards the chest as you can, stacking the shoulders over the hips. And then start to extend the right leg out in front of you. When you do that, make sure that you don't send the torso back. Keep it nice and stacked. And then start to bend that right knee back in towards you. Take it back through warrior three. Inhale here. 
And then as you exhale, step the right foot back for warrior one. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, plant the hands. Step it back to a single leg plank. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, flip the toes up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look towards the top of the mat. This time look to the outsides of your hands. Step, walk or float to Malasana, yogi squat, landing softly. You can always lift the heels onto something if you need to. Wherever you are, I'd like you to think of sinking the tailbone down as you reach the crown of the head up towards the sky. Even grounding through both feet, all four sides of both feet. Take three more breaths here. And then you can stay just like this, or you're going to start to raise up onto the toes. Inhale. Exhale, lower back down into your squat. Inhale, raise onto the toes. Exhale, lower back down. Three more just like that. Little yogi squat calf raises. Working on the balance and the ankle strength. One more. And then take the hands to the floor, fold forward, parallel the feet. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, come all the way to standing. Surya Namaskar B. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, step, walk or float, take it through vinyasa. Step the right leg forward, inhale, warrior one. Exhale, take the hands down, step it back, take it through a vinyasa, or take it straight to downward dog. Step the left leg forward on your inhale, raise up, warrior one. Exhale, take the hands down, your choice, with or without a vinyasa, to downward dog. Look towards the hands, step, walk or float, land soft, inhale, halfway lift, exhale to fold, inhale, chair pose, exhale to stand, two more rounds, inhale, chair, exhale, fold, inhale, lengthen, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Right leg steps. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, take it down with or without a vinyasa. Look towards the top. Left leg steps. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, with or without a vinyasa to downward dog. Towards the top, step, walk, or float. Inhale, lift, lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, step. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Right leg. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Left leg. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Look to the top. Step, walk, or float. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, chair pose. This time, as you exhale, raise the heels. 
and then slowly with control start to sink down, 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 down. All the way until the hips meet the heels. Split the knees apart, we're preparing for crow pose. Snuggle the legs onto the back of the arms, plant the hands. Start to shift weight forward, bending the elbows, chaturanga arms. One or two feet lift. And then maybe you can start to straighten the arms. And you can stay here, or maybe you want to play with single leg crow. Hug the right knee strongly into the right upper arm. And maybe the left knee can come in towards the chest. And maybe it can extend out behind you. Or wherever you are, make your way to downward facing dog. It's really hard to talk in that pose. Look towards the top of the mat, step walk or float. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale, sink the hips, chair pose. Keep the arms reaching up as you exhale, lift the heels and start to sink the hips all the way down as slow as you can. And then split the knees. Once more, we're coming into pro pose. If there's another arm balance or another pose that you want to play around with here, please feel free. And if you played on the first side with a single leg crow, maybe this time you hug the left knee into the left tricep. And the right knee can either come to the chest or shoot back behind you. And whenever you're done playing with or without a vinyasa, we'll meet in downward dog. Inhale, sweep the right leg up. Exhale. This time we're going to make a big circle. So take the right elbow to the right, the right knee to the right elbow, and then swing it across to the left. Take it back up into the free leg you go. Exhale. Make your circle right to left. Inhale, free leg you go. One more. Exhale. Inhale, free leg you go. Now we reverse it across the body, right knee, left elbow. Swing it across to the right. Take it back up. Two more. And then exhale, step the foot through. Line up for warrior two, heel to arch. Cartwheel the left arm open. Keep the right hand down, either to the inside or the outside of the right foot for side angle pose. Left arm can reach up to the sky or you can reach it forward in front of you. Lengthen through both sides of the body. Three more breaths. Make sure that that right knee isn't collapsing inwards. Left arm comes towards the sky on an inhale. Exhale, press through the right heel. Warrior two. Ribs spin towards the long end of the mat, sink deep into the hips. Shoulders are stacking over the hips. And if you were to take your hands to your pelvis, you would think of drawing your belly button slightly up towards the ribs, your tailbone slightly down towards the floor. Few more breaths, relax the face. Flip the front palm, inhale, reverse your warrior arc the side body. Exhale, we're coming back into side angle pose. This time you've got an option, you can stay, or if you're feeling nice and strong, fire up through the legs, make sure the front knee doesn't collapse, float the right arm out in front of you. Five more breaths, relax the jaw. Strong the legs, strong the abs. Last bit of strength, inhale. Exhale, fire up through the front leg, raise up, warrior through with the arms above the head, inhale. Exhale. 
have split the arms, warrior two arms. Flip the front palm, inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, cut all the hands down. Listen for the change. Plant the left hand, come off the left heel. Inhale, open the right arm for a simple twist. You can stay here or turn the right foot out on an angle. Drop to the outside edges of both feet for the hip stretch. And then you can stay here in your simple twist or your rotated twist. Or we can take this to side plank, stepping the right foot to meet the left. Inhale, sweep the right arm up and forward. And then as you exhale, make a big circle across the line of your mat. Inhale, up and over. Exhale, down and around. You can always lift the top foot here to make this a little bit more difficult if you want to. We'll take two more. Inhale, reach tall in your side plank. Exhale, single leg plank. You know what's coming. Inhale, shift it forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. And then lower all the way to the belly. Untuck the toes, interlace the hands behind the back. Inhale, peel the shoulder heads off. Exhale, send the fists towards the back of the room. Think of lengthening the buttocks away from the lower back as you do this. Maybe the fists can lift away from the sacrum. Maybe the feet can lift, keep them hips distance apart. And maybe bend the knees and maybe you can lift the thighs off as if you're trying to stamp your feet to the ceiling, reaching the fists back between the knees. Four more breaths. And then release, plant the hands, plank, knees up or down. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep the left leg up. We're going for those circles. Exhale, take the left knee to the left elbow, sweep it around to the right, and then back up to your three-legged dog. Two more in that direction. And try and keep the body steady in a plank. Don't let the hips wiggle from side to side. And then reverse your circle. Knee crosses the body and then sweeps around. And then exhale, step it through. Line up for warrior two feet. Heel to arch. And then left hand either on the inside or the outside of the left foot. Sweep the right arm up on your inhale. Stay with the arm up or reach it towards the front of the body, lengthening the side. Check in with your alignment points. Back foot is strong. Front hip hugs underneath you and you're lengthening through both sides of the torso by lengthening the tail away from the head. Raise the right arm to the roof, inhale. Exhale, press down through the left heel, warrior two. Square the ribs off to the long end of the mat. Sink deep into the hips, but grow long through the spine. Make sure again that that front knee is directly over its ankle. And settle in for about eight more breaths. Notice if your mind starts to wander, bring it back to the present. Flip the front palm, inhale, reverse your warrior, arc the side body. 
Exhale, bring it forward for side angle again. Option, reach the right arm forward, stay here. Or fire up through that left leg, hug the left hip in, maybe float the left arm up. Keep the right side body rotating towards the ceiling. One more breath. Fire up through the front leg. Inhale, come all the way up to warrior two, arms reach up. Exhale, split the arms, warrior two arms. Flip the front palm, inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Plant the right hand. Inhale, sweep the left arm up for your open twist. Stay or turn the left foot out on a 45 degree angle. Rotate to the outside edge of both feet, sweeping the left arm back for the hip stretch. And feel free to hang out wherever you are or fire up through that bottom side body. Step the left foot back to meet the right, side plank. Inhale, sweep the left arm up and forward. And then exhale as you sweep it down across the body along the mat. Inhale, up and over. Exhale, circle it down. Option to lift the left foot as you do this. Keep both hips stacking. Take two more. Inhale, sweep the left arm up. Exhale, single leg plank. Last time, inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower all the way to the belly. This time, send the arms out in front of you, palms face down. And then as you exhale, lift the upper body and arms off the mat, so the arms are reaching towards the front of the room, the toes are pressing down strongly into the mat. Take an inhale here, and then exhale, cactus the arms as if you're sliding your arms across a plane of glass. Inhale, reach them forward. Exhale, draw it back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. One more like this. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, reach it forward. And this time as you exhale, lift the feet off, hips distance apart, big toes roll up. Inhale, spread the legs, cactus the arms. Exhale, torpedo. Inhale, cactus starfish. Exhale, torpedo. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, hands under elbows, toes tuck or knees down. Exhale, plank pose. Inhale in your plank. Exhale, down with facing dog. Look towards the top of the mat, step, walk or float. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise all the way up, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. A little bit of balance work. Take the hands to the hips, shift the weight to the left. Bring the sole of the right foot to the ankle, the calf, or the upper inner thigh for tree pose. And then feel free to keep the hands on the hips, feeling the evenness of the hips, or take the hands up and overhead. You can stay here, or you can challenge yourself by taking a floating tree. Try and keep the height of the knee and the hip but float the sole of the foot away from the inner thigh. Relax the shoulders. And then from here, you're just going to cross the right ankle on top of the left knee. Stay here in figure four, or start to sink back into a single leg chair. Standing pigeon, arms are reaching forward, upper back is strong. Stay here or bring the hands to heart center, maybe hooking the elbows in front of the shin, allowing yourself to go a little bit deeper. And you can stay here or we can take flying pigeon. If you've practiced with me, you know this is one of my favorites. 
Take hands down, shoulder distance apart. Bend into Chaturanga arms. Use them as a shelf for the right shin. Hook the left toes, or the right toes around the left elbow. Left heel to the bum, and then maybe the left leg can extend behind you. If you went into the arm balance, slowly reverse it with as much control as you went into it. Come back to your figure four chair. Exhale, everybody comes to standing. Draw the knee in towards the chest. Take the left hand to the right knee. Start to send the right arm back behind you for a standing twist. And you can stay here or you can reach for the outside edge of the right foot with your left hand and extend the leg long in front of you. I'm going to blame the fan for my poor balance today. Slowly start to rotate it forward. Inhale, lift the knee or the leg, sweep the arms up and overhead. And then exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Roll the length of the spine, come all the way to standing. Inhale, sweep the arms up and over. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take the hands to the hips, shift the weight to the right. Come up into your version of tree pose. Start by feeling the evenness of the hips as the left knee works towards the back of the room. And then feel free to take any arm variation. Stay here or challenge yourself. Keep the height. Take the foot away from the upper inner thigh. And then cross the left ankle on top of the right knee. Start to either stay here or sink the hips back, flexing strongly through the left ankle for a figure four chair. Stay here or bring the hands together, maybe hooking the elbows over the front of the shin. Sink the hips a little lower. And you could hang out here or we work to flying pigeon on this side, plant the hands, use the elbows as a shelf, hook the left toes around the back of the right elbow, bring the right heel to the bum and then maybe extend that right leg out behind you. If you went into the arm balance, slowly with control reverse the process. First back through your figure four chair, then all the way to standing. Draw the left knee in towards the chest. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, take right hand to left knee, reach the left hand back behind you. Gently draw the left hip down, the left hip forward as the left ribs reach back. Stay here or reach down for the outside edge of the left foot with the right hand and extend the knee straight. You fall out of it, that's no worries, just come on back in. Look towards the front of the room. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Maybe extend the leg if it wasn't already. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway with lengthen. Exhale, with or without a vinyasa, make your way to downward facing dog. Last of the standing poses. Inhale, sweep the right leg up. Exhale, step it through. Warrior two stance, inhale, warrior two, exhale, sinking. Inhale, reverse your warrior, exhale, straighten the front leg, reverse your triangle, take an inhale, big lengthen, exhale, cut forward at the hips, reach as far forward with the right hand as you can, and then make your way into your triangle pose. And you can feel free to hang out here, micro bend in through the right knee, or you can start to sweep the left arm forward. Stay here, or keeping lengthen through the both 
sides of the body. Exhale, float the right arm up. Keep the chest opening to the side of the mat of the room. And make sure you don't walk in through the front leg. And if your arms are up, keep them up. Inhale, come all the way to standing. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Plant the left hand. Inhale, open side twist. Exhale, maybe drop onto the outside edges of the feet. Inhale, come back to your twist. Exhale, plant the hand. Take the right foot back. Vinyasa or not, downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep the left leg up. Exhale, step it through. Line up, heel to arch. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, sinking. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, straight the front leg, reverse your triangle. Inhale to gather length. And then exhale, cut forward at the left hip, come into triangle pose. Stay here or take the front arm, top arm, start to reach it towards the front of the room. Keep lengthening through the lower back. Stay here or if you can keep the pose the same, start to float the left arm up as if you're holding a huge beach ball. Two more. Inhale, keep the arms reaching all the way to standing. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down, plant the right hand. Inhale, simple open twist. Exhale, drop to the outside edges of the feet. Inhale, back to your twist. Exhale, with or without a vinyasa, make your way to downward dog. Inhale, shift yourself forward. Exhale, lower right elbow, left elbow. Bring the toes together. Roll to the outside edge of the right foot. Inhale, sweep the left arm up. Baby brush is sasana. You can stay here or maybe you can float that left leg off. Maybe you can start to extend the left leg back behind you. Keep the hips stacked. And then bring the left foot back on top of the right. Exhale, take it through forearm plank. And then take it over to the left. Inhale, sweep the right arm up. Maybe you float the right leg. Maybe you start to extend that right leg back behind you. And then stack the right foot back on top of the left. Inhale. Exhale, forearm plank. Untuck the toes, come into forearm plank on the tops of the feet. And then slowly with control, lower the hips, come back into sphinx pose. We'll take that pulsation one more time. Inhale, draw the sternum through the gateway of the arms. Exhale, release the chin to the chest. Inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale, exhale. One more strengthening move here. Bring the hands behind the head as if you're under arrest. And then inhale, lift the elbows away from the floor. Press into the feet as you exhale, peel the top of the body off the mat. Peel the chest off the mat. That's a better instruction. Take an inhale here. And then as you exhale, you're going to tap just the left elbow to the floor. Inhale, come through center. Exhale, tap the right. Inhale, come through center. Keep going like this. And if you're more mobile through your thoracic spine, you'll probably be able to get a little bit more movement than I can. But just know that it doesn't have to be a huge movement. It's not the most mobile part of your spine, so you might not get as far as what you want to get, and that's fine. 
one more to each side. And then relax down. Bring the hands off the mat, tent the fingertips, elbows up towards the sky. Inhale, peel the chest and head off for a wide arm cobra. And as you exhale, drop the right shoulder to the floor, look to the left. And both elbows stay facing up towards the sky. Inhale, back through centre. Exhale, take it to the other side, drop the left shoulder, look to the right. Inhale, take it back through centre. Exhale, roll it down. Press yourself back briefly through child's pose. Release the lower back. And then roll yourself all the way up to all fours. From here, you're just going to step the left leg forward so that you're in a low lunge. You can stay here. This might be enough for you. You might want to just come down onto your elbows for a lizard lunge. Or you can take the left hand, reach back, bend the right knee. Grab the incoming right foot, stretching out through the quads. And then if you've got a hold of the foot, slowly release it. Everybody start to walk the hands back as you straighten through the front leg, coming into Ardha Hanumanasana. Shifting the weight slightly more to the left to even off the weight distribution. Left toes strongly pull back towards the face as the sternum reaches towards the toes. And then crawl it forward, come back onto all fours and just switch it out, take the right foot forward. Stay here, maybe you lower onto the elbows or maybe you bend the left knee, reaching back with the right hand for the incoming left foot for the quad hip flexor stretch. Got a hold of the foot slowly with control, release it, and then start to walk yourself back, straightening out through the front leg. Ardha Hanumanasana. You could, of course, come to full splits if that was in your practice. We didn't do a lot of hamstring stretch work today, so maybe not the best day for it. But it's your practice. You do, you do you. And then start to walk yourself forward again. Come back into all fours. And from here, you're just going to cross the right knee behind the left. And bring the feet off to the side. So you're almost making a big X with your feet. And then you're going to walk your hips back in between your heels. So we've pretty much landed in Gomakrasana. If that was confusing, just make your way into Gomakrasana. The outside edges of the feet are on the floor. The knees are stacking. This doesn't work in your body, just come to a simple single, uh, simple cross-legged position. And you can stay here or we can take a twist, taking the hands to the heart, hooking the right elbow to the outside of the left knee, gently twisting open towards the left. And taking a few more breaths here, inhale, lengthen, exhale, sit, the sit bones down. slowly unwind yourself and you take a bit of a funky transition so take the hands down towards the floor start to come up onto the feet and then you're going to walk the hands over towards the right side of the room keep walking all the way to the back of the mat keep making your way all the way around and eventually you'll end up in a twist 
so that now the right leg is on top and the left leg is underneath. And then you'll just sit yourself down so that you're in Bobokasana on the other side. And again, if that didn't work, that's fine. Just make your way to Bobokasana or your cross-legged position. And again, you can stay here, fold forward, or maybe you take a twist, taking the left elbow to the outside of the right knee, using your inhales to lengthen you, exhales to twist you. slowly unwinding yourself. Extend the legs out in front of you. Come into Dandasana for a few breaths, reaching the arms up overhead, stacking the shoulders over the pelvis. And then take an inhale, gather length. Exhale, think of hinging from the pelvis. Keep the length as long as you can and then release into a forward fold, grabbing wherever is working in your body. And then slowly rolling all the way up. So you've got options here. You could come into a simple cross-legged meditation here or you can make your way onto your back for Shavasana, taking any other movements that you feel like your body needs. Maybe taking a simple twist side to side. Getting rid of any fidgets, any stagnant energy that you need to. And then when you're ready, turn the palms up towards the sky. Take a nice deep inhale. Hold it at the top. And then exhale through the mouth. One more like that. Inhale through the nose. Hold it at the top. Exhale through the mouth. And then let go of the control of your breathing. Starting to feel the heart rate slow. The breathing slow but maybe the thoughts start to quicken. See if you can slow the thoughts as if they're gentle waves lapping up on the shore. Observe your thoughts without judgment and without attachment, knowing that here is exactly where you need to be right now. Please stay in your Shavasana for as long as you have time for it. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Today, as you go forward, may you have strength in your thoughts, strength in your words, 